I stayed up all last night. Um, I was very anxious for the interview I have right now. So I stayed up, um, you know, and I was just messing around with the sneaker. So I thought, you know, let me make the sneaker all green. I was going to take it all off and then do it again so it could look smooth. But I brought them into the store and everybody's like, yo, where are those? Where'd you get these from? So we're going to try to get these in the glass case, though, see if we got George dropping. Word. Yeah. Reed. Chase, yes. how you doing? How you doing? Now, uh, if you don't know Chase already, you certainly will soon. Chase is up here running the world's first sneaker pawn shop. Chase, this is incredible. This space is amazing. Um, let's just start at the beginning. How, how did sneaker pawn shop come to life? Like, by the time I started collecting, it was just like, you know, I'm in high school now. I want to have everything that comes out. So I was sort of spoiled for a minute, and, you know, my parents was buying me everything that was coming out for, like, every week. They don't want to buy me any more sneakers because I have hundreds in the house. So why not just start reselling sneakers? So I started reselling sneakers with me and my father. We would go drive state to state all the way down to Atlanta. And, you know, like we would just come back to New York and sell them for however much we could get them for, you know, a tiny bit above retail. After a while, I was like, well, we have hundreds of sneakers in here. Let's open a sneaker store in Harlem. Like, let's be a little bit different. Nobody has a sneaker store and a nice brownstone. Um, and then after that, it was like, well, Let's open a pawn shop because it would be times where I had clothes that I wanted to go buy, I had people I wanted to go out with, and I would have to give my father a pair of my sneakers so that I can have money to go out with my friends and I would have to give him the money back until he just get my sneaker back. So, I mean, of course, like, you know, it was just like, well, that's how many other people in the world would like pawn their sneakers just so they could have money but want to keep their collection. So it was like, let's open the first sneaker pawn shop. And it's sort of quick, like, well, why hasn't anybody else thought of this? You know, a kid comes in, kids got a yeah. flat pair of sneakers, like, what, can, what are his options? They have the option whether they want to come in, customize, refurbish, um, buy, sell, trade. We do brand new and used. Um, like, they can come in and pawn their sneakers, so if they pawn their sneakers, you have 90 days to come back for your sneaker. You just pay a $20 storage fee each month, and you have your sneaker. Break down what's on your shelves right now. So for the most part, we have 45% Nike, 50% Jordan, and probably like 2% Adidas, 2% you know Reebok, and then like 1% of something else. Are there certain shoes out there that they haven't brought back yet that you're aware of that you think might be in the next wave of? Um, well, my father always talks about you know like Lottos, um, Pro Keds, like stuff like that. They're definitely gonna come back out with, and we're soon probably gonna have it in the store like. A lot of European stores have it right now, so I think it's going to be definitely something in the future for, um, you know, the American market and the secondary market. You never know certain things about the sneak game. You never know what's next. However, if you have like a like an eye where it's like, oh yeah, I know these are going to be something that's big. Tell me uh, a little bit about what it's like working with your dad and having this project be, you know, project a father son project. Um, it being a father and son project. He says I run the store. I don't think I run the store. <laughs> I'm starting to doubt my, I'm starting to doubt, it. no. There's posters I'm, of you all over the Yeah, store. yeah, 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 no. I mean, for the most part, yeah, I do, like, I, I run the store, but yeah, at the end of the day, that's still my father, so, you know, I still gotta respect him. I, I gotta respect any adult around here, honestly. Um, but for the most part, you know, I run the store, and then he just brings the business point of view to the store. Right now, we're working on these, so these are, the insoles where we have me on the insole. So people can come in, they can step on my face if they buy them for $20. We have keychains, we have sneaker belts, hats, shirts. And then besides that, you know, definitely moving on to other states, um, probably even other countries. And then of course, I want to graduate high school and move on to college. So oh, true that, I forgot you're still yeah. in high school. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, yo, Chase, this is extremely impressive. Right, this is a yeah, beautiful definitely. place. Everything you're doing is, is really cool. A lot of respect for, for all this and um, yeah. We're at Sneaker Pawn Shop, the only one in the world here on Dose.